welcome back to Lewis the Van. We are so psyched to be kicking off a new season of building with this 4x4 Sprinter conversion. If you are interested in the van we are about to tour or in any upcoming future builds, please reach out through the contact link in the description box below. In that same box, you can also find the links to all of the items used in this conversion. So if you see something you like, shopping through those links is a great way to support us and the channel. Well, what do you say we check it out? Like we mentioned earlier, this tiny home on wheels is housed inside of the 4x4 Sprinter platform. This particular vehicle is a 2016 high roof 144 inch wheelbase, 2500 Sprinter with 90,000 miles. The 4x4 capabilities of this vehicle make it able to traverse rough terrain and take you to those beautiful but hard to reach places. It handles extremely well in all climates, particularly sandy or snowy ones, and sits four inches higher than the standard two-wheel drive model. To ensure this vehicle is truly four season ready, we have installed this S2000 Wabasto diesel heater underneath the passenger swivel seat facing towards the living area. This heater is incredibly low draw and is tapped into the onboard fuel tank. So once you fill the vehicle, you'll be all set. Even on the coldest nights, these heaters are capable of running for hours on end and keep the space extremely warm. Good lighting is crucial to making any tiny house feel like a tiny home, which is why we always prioritize having options within each area of the space. Two sets of LEDs run overhead, one down the middle of the ceiling and one along the length of the upper cabinets. These underglows transform the floor into a subtle glowing runway. This switch illuminates the backsplash in the kitchen, while this switch accents the opposite wall. Coming into the main living space, you'll first notice this large floor to ceiling unit, comprised of four various sized drawers and cabinets, all equipped with push pop hardware for a sleek look. This unit provides multiple storage options. Behind the second face from top, you can find your 65 quart Indel refrigerator and freezer. Keeping theme with the fridge, all of the appliances in this van are black and provide the perfect accent to this bright white space. While we chose to keep this layout open by not including an enclosed fixed shower stall, we love to provide alternative options to rinsing off. This is why we've chosen a sink that is compatible with this five foot spray extension. With the location of the sink beside this large sliding window, it's super easy to make this setup something useful. In addition, with hot water flowing from this 1500 watt, 2.5 gallon electric water heater, you can be sure you'll be more than comfortable showering outside. If you follow us on Instagram, you know that we live in a very small low roof van and use this same bathing method. It's definitely a low maintenance option, perfect for anyone who'd prefer a rinse out in nature. Speaking of nature and being able to view it from the comforts of your home, all of the windows featured in this build, including the two stock back ones and this sliding bunk window, are manufactured through AM Auto, who we will have linked below. We really enjoy how minimal they appear from the outside, but how much they open up the space inside. After three years of full-time van life, we've learned that ventilation is the key to climate control. If these two sliding windows aren't bringing in enough of a breeze, open your max air fan for optimal airflow. With your max air fan open, pulling out any trapped steamy air, you're ready for a home cooked meal. To make it happen, just turn on your 1500 watt Furion single burner induction stovetop with multiple touch settings for temperature and time. For a bit of extra prep space, pop out one or both of these two tabletop extensions. We created them completely custom along with the countertop to make this area more expansive and multifunctional. 
When it's time to clean up and wash dishes, use this small pop-down unit located just beneath the sink to turn on your water pump and or check your water levels using this in-house water fill light. Should something ever go awry with your plumbing, we have designed everything in a way that can be easily checked and serviced. Here, you can also see the 22-gallon fresh water tank that fits over the most unusable area of any van, the wheel well. Because the water tank takes up a large portion of the area inside the kitchen unit, some of the drawers had to be made into odd shapes and form factors. Our favorite among them is this corner pantry shelf, which is contained within this 45 degree angle, a space like the wheel well that is generally unusable. We especially love these latches from RV Labs that have this built-in mechanism that locks all of the drawers in place while they're closed and prevents anything from sliding open while you're driving. If you're interested, they'll be linked below. In addition to the storage room contained within the kitchen unit, you can also find seven large upper compartments running along both sides of the van to provide you with more than ample room to store your belongings. When you're looking to relax, this seating area gives you over eight feet of length to seat family and friends. The same two tabletops that serve to extend the countertop also make a great desk solution when seated. With so many people clocking in remotely nowadays, this is an ideal setup for working from the road. Once the workday is over and you're looking to catch up on some quality Zs, this seating area is capable of transforming into a 45 inch wide by 75 inch long bed. Using a slatted design and self-supported by 500 pound drawer slides, this couch to bed conversion is possible without the use of supporting legs. These small cubbies really help capitalize on storage potential and would be perfect for keeping bedding or laundry. This portion of the seating area is fixed and remains mounted in place, giving you a place to sit even while the bed is fully made and extended. Just under this bench seat lies the powerhouse of the van. Two 170 amp hour Renogy lithium batteries make up 340 total amp hours of usable power. This 3000 watt inverter is responsible for converting 12 volts to 120 volts to run devices such as the stove, water heater, and these outlets. The system also features a smart MPPT charge controller from Victron and a battery to battery charger that charges the battery bank while the vehicle is running. Using the Victron app, you can monitor how the entire system is performing from the convenience of your Bluetooth enabled smartphone. In the upper cabinet above, you can find this main 12 volt fuse box with switches for the battery warmer pads, gray water warmer pads, USB ports, as well as a switch to remotely dump your gray water from inside the vehicle. Atop the vehicle, these two 175 watt Renogy solar panels are the renewable energy that allows this home to remain off grid. As your last but also largest storage option, this entire stretch of seating can lift up to reveal this enclosed carpeted area. This would be the perfect spot to store longer, bulkier objects such as outdoor equipment or camping gear. When your back doors are open, you'll be able to fill your fresh water tank using this water fill port. Once again, if you are interested in this tiny home on wheels, please reach out through the contact link in the description box below. If you're not already following us on Instagram, definitely be sure to do so as that is the best place to stay up to date on upcoming projects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.